Hello viewers, today our lesson is how to create user control and how to use this user control inside Windows form in C -sharp. and later on this tutorial I'll discuss how to pass user control variable, user control, control tax, uh, combo box, this kind of control from user control to another windows form so let's move to start first to we have to take one new windows form which is name is form 2 see here this is the blank uh, uh, windows form we know already how to drag and drop button but this button come from another window or another form which is user controls uh, and then we can uh, manipulate uh, those control in any other uh, you see header and footer if you create one header and footer you can create uh, you can use those header and footer in every page so very interesting so let's move first create uh, one new user control whose name is here this is a user control this one for WPF this one for Windows form here is mansion this one on the presentation foundation this one now we are creating user control using Windows form okay see here when I create here one combo box and one label here label name is country and combo box name is uh, combo box one so just change it com okay let's try to check what happened just uh, rebuild it and those control automatically come here see here this one our combo box so let's try to run this see here automatically coming user control in our window form see here this is not uh, uh, inside in uh, uh, in the individual control this is uh, one whole control let's check in property this is user control one testing this is full control name is testing you cannot um, uh, distinguish here is a combo box and this one's level Let's try again here, put something and it automatically appear inside. How are you use? If you use same control, uh, several form, you care every single form. But I mean, uh, you have to be attention when you uh, update, modify your user control, you have to build or uh, rebuild the solution. Then it's automatically come here, see? So automatically coming every hour how you use so let's try it to pass the variable from user control to here and how to manipulate those control uh, we have uh, several types of uh, but uh, types of um, method to pass a user control uh, to a form but today I'll show you only two types of uh, uh, method how to pass a user control variable from Windows form Windows form so for this we have to create uh, one class just uh, take a new class class name is country okay so here see countries open the countries and make sure by default is only class only class like this so be careful is 
obviously do it public class and the country is the ID and name uh, so it's a country name and this is parameter name is name and um, so double double click here and you, we have to bind the combo box uh, uh, combo box list so I'll do the details so to short the video so this is our um, combo box list uh, and uh, my combo box list name is uh, combo box country that's it this is ID and and, and display member name is and uh, a name so just create another method here public country this is the class name you remember we create so class name so and method name is selected selected country and get return country and our come country dot selected item okay so here is a finish in user control uh, first and let's move to here and let's create another button this is totally different this one from uh, this one from user control and this one individually in the form 2 so button name is just show and okay later on you can change so here just we're gonna display message to display code here first we need the what is the our user control name here we're gonna find not this one this one this one inside form our user control name is user control one dot uh, testing one but this one just only testing so automatically everybody later on you can change the user control name so we need the user control here and then uh, selected country remember it's selected country this one uh, come from user control uh, we just a uh, passing parameter here and and here we're gonna get just uh, ID or whatever because we have a two oh, value variable here inside the country class and uh, that's it so let's try to display now here US Australia see Australia it's working another form see UK and those name come from here you can increase your country name like Is the grid? Wow! Now I will show you another method here. So for this method, let's uh, create another take new item as a user control. User control. That's the currency. Very new numeric value user control name okay and 
what is the name name is just a drag button one is the number one See here we have a four ne bellow, numeric bellow, those are button. So now, now I'm going to pass parameter. First, rebuild this one and then this one, one user control with combo box this one another so those uh, button uh, below appear inside individual text box uh, is text box in uh, form let's try now not nothing display this one working but here is nothing display actually because so let's move how to pass parameter to pass parameter everything we have to create here we'll double click in button and first in this method i like it and this method is very easy public delegates and num below okay this is delegate names Umbello dot dynamic so this bellow is one that's it so get the variable from uh, user control I have to declare here public public delegates Okay create one private and here our text box name is uh, text box one so text box text plus one equal to user control so this is our code this is a user control and this one method have come from uh, uh, user control this one it would declare and uh, it's passing this value so let's try to create another for two this value is two this three and this one four now rebuild again succeed one two three four you can individually just uh, replace if you want to only replace just do it equal to and then see here one r2 r3 r4 so it is very simple so thanks for watching so before i'm gonna finish just to watch the uh, first step we have to declare a bellow declare a bellow delegates bellow 
and then button events dynamic inbox and then and then drag user control from here and uh, take another text box to display button value inside the text box and then write code in code behind here just uh, declare one uh, function below functions and below come from uh, method and then uh, another one is uh, pointer and uh, user control get below from user control and it will be displayed inside the text box so thanks for watching and uh, see you next time bye bye